Hi guys, this is lecture 3.3 and today we'll be talking about optimization problems. Let's go straight into example 1 from our learning resources. Find two positive numbers whose product is 10,000 and whose sum is a minimum. First we have to define our variables. Let x be the first number and y be the second number. We say the product is 10,000, therefore x times y will be equal to 10,000. Then we have to make sure that their sum, which is x plus y, will be a minimum, which is s. If we rearrange the second equation, we will get y is equal to 10,000 over x, and this way we will write x in terms of y. Next, what we can do is we substitute this equation back into our s equation, and we'll get s is equal to x plus 10,000 over x. The derivative of s will be equal to 1 minus 10,000 over x squared, which is equal to x squared minus 10,000 over x squared. To find the minimum value for s, we will have to make sh the derivative of s equal to 0, which means x squared will be equal to 10,000. x is then equal to 100, because it is a positive number. y then will be equal to 10,000 over 100 that's taken by this equation. Therefore, y will be equal to 100. Both numbers are 100. Example 2. If 2700 centimeters square of material is available to make a box with a square base and open up, find the largest possible volume of the box. Let x be the length of the box and h be the height. And since it's a square, the length and the width of the bottom of the box will be the same, and they will both be x. The volume will be the bottom the, sorry, the area of the bottom times the height. That will be x squared times h. The surface area will be equal to x squared, that's the base, plus the four walls. That would be 4 times h, times, a, times x, which will be equal to 2,700. h will be equal to 2,700 minus x squared over 4x. which will be equal to 675x minus 1 over 4x cubed. The domain of the function is that x is bigger or equal to 0 and h is bigger or equal to 0 because the dimensions cannot be negative. Therefore, 2700 minus x squared will be bigger or equal to 0. x will be less or equal to 30 times the square root of 3. The derivative of the volume will be equal to 675 minus 3 over 4x squared. And if we want to find the minimum, maximum, we have to make the derivative of volume equal to 0. If we solve, we'll get x is equal to 30. x is equal to 30 will be our critical points and we have to find the y corresponding y value for this x value. But other than that, we also have to check the endpoints. The endpoints being 0 and 30 times the square root of 3. When we check the y value for all of these three, we have to compare them and see which one's the largest. And when x is equal to 30, we get the largest y value possible. Therefore, the absolute maximum volume occurs when x is equal to 30, and the maximum volume is 13,500 centimeter cubed. And that will be the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching.